Hi guys, Debbie here. I'm coming at you from my kitchen. This is gonna be part three, the last part of the video. So now I'm gonna show you what everything looks like when it's all done. So I'm gonna turn you guys this way to my stove. I want you guys to see the rice and the end of the pork shoulder, what it looks like. Let me see if I could move you guys like this. Nope. Having a little bit of, um, all right. Yep, here we go. Let me, um, I'm opening it guys that one because I don't want this thing to fuck the floor. Okay, here we go. So that's what it looks like, guys. It's yummy. So yes. Hopefully that's a better lighting. And there's the right. I don't even have to cut it. Look, look, see high flakes. Look, look, you know, this is the bone. I mean, it's already falling out of it. So, that's what I, you know, but yeah. This is why I like cooking my meat in this pot. Okay, the brown color that you guys see in the pink is the seasoning. So, yes. Ooh, I could smell all the spices. So, yeah. See? Of course, the fat. Take it. To the side see all this brown stuff that you guys see here that's the spice that i pushed in there with my finger remember i told you guys so you're not just gonna taste a piece of plain meat you're gonna taste spices so now i have one of my um subscriber that he made a comment there's a lot of spices that he can he's a spice don't agree with him okay i know you gotta season your food with whatever spices that you can eat. So with that same spices, you could season your meat. You know, the spices is what give the meat flavor. You eat a plain piece of meat, it's just like, to me, it doesn't taste right. I mean, you know, but whatever spices that you could tolerate or that you like, you could use them to make the same paste that I did, however you want it. You don't want wine, you could use oil, olive oil. You don't want olive oil, you just put a little bit of that of water and you know, you just season it like that, okay? So, hopefully that'll be a help to you. So now, I'm gonna show you guys the rice up close. See, this is why I use Spanish rice to make my Spanish, because it does not stick together. You know, and I cook my rice all the way through. I don't leave like that little hard bite on stuff because by eating the rice while being hard, a lot of people will suffer with going to the bathroom. So, and if you don't save your rice to the next day because you say it gets hard, what you gotta do is you put it in a Tupperware container, add a little bit of water. Away and it'll be all set. So yeah. Give me one moment, please, okay? Anthony. So yeah, that was that was for my grandson. 
that place that you guys saw there was from my 10 year old grandson and by the way he'll come back as soon as he's done with that he has me for seconds so yeah so that's for Hayden I was just telling them that my grandson that's how he is and he just 10 so now I'm going to serve my husband which actually you know my name is so this is for my niece. So you guys, that what it looks like. And now, um, I'm gonna let you guys go and enjoy your meal, guys. Did you guys have any questions? Let me know, comment, subscribe, share. And um, if you have any questions, just ask and I will gladly answer your question. Okay? Well, have a good night, guys. And God bless you and bon appetit.